Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen. You are watching Youth Basketball Champions League 2024. Game day one contained uh, one sided and then a very exciting game tonight. We have started with Academy Nimburg against Ajax Athens and the Czech team one does those games uh, easily and then ended with a half of an hour ago BK Opava, the other Czech team was able to beat Porsche BBA Ludwigsburg by five points and now from four o'clock Galatasaray and Baskets Oldenburg will face each other so Ludwigsburg didn't have much success against Opava, but the other German team, Odenburg, is ready to save the German team's day. As you can see, Hapoel Jerusalem is the third member of the of this group. They, I mean, Galatasaray and Oder, Odenburg will play against Israeli team the next two days but right now they are focusing each other and of course their own playing style there are performance and we hope it will be an entertaining game neither team participated last year at YBCL so this is their first trip to this high prestigious tournament But two very strong teams we are talking about uh, for the Oldenburg team. The story is the under-19 domestic championship. They are waiting for the quarterfinals against Leverkusen later in April. And this tournament is a very good preparation for them against Leverkusen and for those under-19 championship quarterfinals. So that's the story for him. On the other side, Galatasaray is one of the best academies in Europe in basketball. So they are serious contenders for this year's YBCL tournament. Introduction of the teams has been started. First, Oldenburg's players are on the floor. Young point guard Karam Erdem is the one to watch. He's leader of the team. Not only as a point guard, but also as a scorer, as a playmaker and a leader. When it comes to the mantle thing, so we have to watch him closely and on the other side for Oldenburg the Klaric brothers Georgia Klaric and Lazar Klaric will be interesting to watch today and of course also in the whole tournament they are representing Germany at the youth level Usually, so one of their best prospects in the whole country. You can see Oldenburg trying to be fired up for the start in five minutes. 
we will have the opening tip off. As I mentioned, this is Group D. Is full with Hapoe Jerusalem. It's good to know that Oldenburg will play against Hapoe tomorrow at 4 p.m. So exactly in 24 hours. And Galatasaray will have the day off tomorrow to have a one-day rest against Hapoe Jerusalem. It's tough to say about anything about uh, chances because these two teams are not participator of last year's tournament and in this in this young age usually don't know too much about these players until we see them against each other so it will be a very interesting game for the scouts as well seeing how they handling the pressure it's a very useful experience for the coaches to see which players can surprise them hopefully in a positive way so all of the 13 coaches or academy operators told to FIBA website that they really Excited to be here in Debetsen and take part in this prestigious tournament. The referees Franco Grazin from Croatia, Alan dos Santos from Brazil, Yasmin Alcaraz from Spain. really keen on developing the officiating and uh, some of the best European and American referees arrived to officiate here. What is an important step in the cooperation between FIBA and the National Basketball Association. So, of course, uh, the Brazilian or at the previous game, the Puerto Rican referee can help these European plays to know referee styles, refereeing styles. So this is an important experience for the players and the refs as well. Not mentioning the FIBA. So less than two minutes remaining until the tip-off. The last words are sounding right now, the benches. Just a reminder, there are 13 teams here in Debrecen to fight for the youth BCL crown in the next couple of days. The 13 teams were drawn into three groups of three teams each and one group of four. After three days of pool play, the four group winners will be paired in the semi-finals. The teams that finish second in their groups will be Interested in classification games for fifth through eighth place in the tournament, while the third place teams and the one fourth place team will compete for the ninth through 13th spots overall. Galatasaray players are waiting for the start here in the backboard. Number of players are arriving on the court right now. Starting fives. Are in. And we are ready as well as the referees. Start this game. Let's 
started in fives. For the teams. Number three from Galatasaray Sarp Kugurluglu. Number 24, Samri Hai. Number eight, Denis Kotsaman. Number seven, Karam Erdam, whom I mentioned earlier. Number 25, excuse me, 26, Hassan Efe Arikan. The first basket, by the way, is for Oldenburg. Scored by number six, Johan Helvig, who is on the floor with number 16, Miran Evin, number seven, Lazar Klaric, number 12, Simon Paul Kolhoff, and number nine, Colin Schroeder. And here is the answer with a two pointer from Sark Ugurluglu. Maybe the defender got a piece of it. It was Hassan Afe Arikan after the shot attempt of Johan Helvig. The turnover followed by Evans' basket and a foul. Miran Evans' basket is counted. And he can go to the free throw line for. No, he can't. I'm sorry. So, Milan Evans two points give Oldenburg the lead early in the game. Another unsuccessful attempt. A three point try. Yes, Hassan Efe Arikan. Good start for him. Getting on the score sheet with a triple. Corner three on the other side. It's good again. It's good as well. Lazar Klaric shows some skills from downtown. Game starts with back to back three pointers. Another triple to try, this time it's at the rim, having the rebound. Running through the whole court and drawing the foul. The contact. It's unquestionable. Two free throws are coming. Evans first is perfect. The second one misses, but the rebound by the Germans. Great individual effort by Colin Schroeder. The offensive board, and then the finish. Paul Hof. Against Gurluglu. Great ball movement, good ball movement, but... The shot was missed by Kramerdam. And the other way, should have lost the handle. So it's Galatasaray ball. It's off his knee and out. Erdem. Tipped outside by Johan Hellevig. Possession remains. Galatasaray. Aggressive defensive effort by Klaric. 
and he's punished by the refs. And because of Lazar Klaric's second fall, he has to sit on a bench. Some frustration on Klaric's face. He didn't want to check out after three and a half minutes. But foul troubling is serious. Dish out to Gurgorl. I'm sorry, Gurluglu who missed, but the rebound goes back to Galatasaray. A three-pointer try is good. Hasan Efe Arikan again. He's got six after two successful trays. Schroeder alone. Schroeder spinning, uh, shooting, and scoring. With one on one play by Colin Schroeder. Then blows it up and uh, excuse me, it was a word of glue. And he was fouled after getting his own rebound. It was a long rebound right back to the shooter. He received, he was able to collect after that, but. After the in the end, almost a dunk, but finally the points are on the board. To now, Chal finished what his teammate started. Schroeder. Colin Schroeder is tripped by To now, Chal. Second team foul first for the child. And after the small break. We are continuing Galatasaray Oldenburg game. At YBCL game day one. The ball stays with Galatasaray. Substitution for Odenberg. And the court is. Romer, number zero. Lennart to Romer. Guard position. This time it's short by Hassan Ferrari Khan. But they got it back, and then the Germans got it back. Romer. Long pass to Schroeder. Schroeder was able to grab it. This pass was riskful, but. And the ball. Oh, great steal and a finish. Hardly by Tuna Chal. Gurlu Glu. Foul Drummer. The young Turkish fellow was all over his opponent. This is the. Previous situation, a chance, take away, and then the dunk. It's a tie game after six minutes. 12-12. Romero. Back to Schroeder. 
through that from the top of the circle, but it's not good. Rebound. Rebounds to Galatasaray and Uguruglu can handle the ball. Oh, we yeah, can. And then a the block on a child by Stuhlmeier. Nice passing play. And then the finish by Sch No. Not finished by Schroeder. Misses from close range. Finally, Odenberg was able to get back the ball, but missing some inside shots. And it's a foul on Schroeder. Illegal screen. So there is no more offensive rebound on this possession. Here's the moving screen. Yep. The next Odenberg foul will occur. Free throw shots as they have four team fouls. Galatasaray has three as a team. Karamardan. Some fancy moves against Ramar. Arikan helps him. Arikan. Erdan. Arikan again from behind the arc. This time it's up the rim and rebounded by Banat Spree. Zoom at a Attack the basket and delivers Lander and Zume. Almost stolen. But a personal foul, so Kramerdam can go to the line. Is Romer fighting with Erdam? Blew the whistle for personal foul. Hassan Arikan will go to the bench. Meanwhile, Erdan misses the first free throw. Second one is good. So Erdem gets his first point of the game. After the ball movement, it was not a clear shooting situation, but Helvig had to do something because of the shot clock violation winding down, so that happened in the last Oldenburg, uh, Oldenburg attack. Ochal, one on one against Tunayer. Erdan backing out. Erdan against Romer. Nice fake. Ochal. Cuts the three. To now Ochal. He had the dunk earlier and then the three pointer. He will be in the replays after the first quarter, I'm sure. Then he leaves the court, getting some well deserved resting time. Galatasaray leading by two. Rumer. Nice spin move and the finish by Rumer. All even at 16. Erdam. 
chased and finished and won by Sam Riahi. Great concentration, great body control. And lays it up off the backboard. And after some substitutions. Yeah, he can shoot the free throw and he makes it. It was a three point play. Galatasaray has a three point lead. Zuma. Oh, that was a desperate try. As well as on the other side. Rushing isn't always a good idea. Paul Hof says sorry. That was a bad shot. Erdem tried to find his teammate under the basket, but Riahi couldn't get the position. It's out of bounds, another turnover. Half a minute. He's back from the first quarter. Both teams had nice and not so nice moments early in the game. Galatasaray has the lead. Odenberg has six seconds to make something. For example, Gather Trey. The ball never touched the rim. But went out of an Oldenburg player, so it's uh, that's a nice ball. Erdem, he has to shoot because the shot clock uh, or the clock is winding down, and that's the end of the first quarter. We have. Perfectly played. Good job. Triple. So that was the first quarter. We are back right now for the second ten minutes. 
Odenberg will have the possession. And it's spray to Simon Paul Kolhoff. A master shooter with the ball and Kolhoff. Kolhoff asked for screen, but could not finish. Ugur Luglu. Risky pass again, but got by Kerem Erdem. Ugur Luglu. Kick ball. 14 seconds on the shot clock. Luglu wanted to receive a ball, but he has to make the inbounds. Now he's with the ball. Bad pass. Four seconds to shoot. Luglu from one foot. This is out. Should have the rebound. Falling and saving the ball are two Oldenburg players as well. Should that Evin? Evin basket is good and a foul. Well, they really needed it. Nice play by Evan, clearly fouled. Not a strong finish. And his free throw is good, so it's not even again. 19 19. Erdan. Quiet offensively from Erdem so far. Only one point after a free throw. Ugurluglu misses. Kolhoff can run. And Spree. Schroeder with the putback. Basket counts. It wasn't basket interference. So Schroeder has got six in the game. Wide open! Center after un, under the basket. It's a Samra Riahi and a very smart play after the ball fake. Waiting for Schroeder falling down. And then a finish and a foul. Schroeder has to come out. And Klaric is back. Both the big man, Klaric and Schroeder, have two personal fouls, so they have to be awareness. Kolhoff finds Zuma, and he's blocked. A child. But then he falls out of bounds. So Odenberg gets back the ball. Here's a great block by Ocha, but then a miscommunication. And he's sliding out of bounds. Three pointer. Now that time. Good look, look. Then he's. Kochaman is on the floor. That didn't go in. Kolhoff looking for an open teammate. He found a three pointer bounced off the rim. Georgia Klaric, Lazar's brother, missed the shot. On the other side, it's a made basket. Then he's Kochaman. 
got his first two points. And this time it is number 24, Samriyahi with the foul. Lazar Paric. That's a good try, but not enough accurate. Good look, hits the side of the back. Klaric left two now behind himself. Lazar Klaric. Ugulugu commits the foul. And he's coming off as he has. Two personal fouls. Erhan Toker, his coach, is very angry at him. Kohlhoff, wonderful floater. Teravadam. Zoom on him. A child. This is the time from mid range. And then over the back fall. It was Mira Nevin, so Galatasaray can get back the ball. Karam, Erdem, Erdem. A three-pointer is short by Batuan Lar. Jordi Klaric, Erdem on the other side after the rebound. It was a good decision, but but one lad couldn't handle the ball. Now the reaching foul by Jordi Klaric. To now a child. Suffer this foul. The child asks for the ball aggressively. He's carrying it. Erdem. Erdem, pull up jumper. Now that time, having the rebound. Having a long. And it. Pinballs in. Mira Navin. He's got eight points. He is the leading scorer of all of his team and on the other side, Samriyahi. Showing some jumping ability, just like his teammate Tunaut Tuna Chal earlier in this game. Off the rim. It didn't go in, so two free throws are coming. After Batuan Lars fall. Yes, here it is. And then Kolhov didn't get the friendly bounce. So now it's his job to convert on both free throws to get the two. Helvig is back in the game. And Kolhoff scores on the first free throw. Perfect from the line this time. Simon Kolhoff 
He's got four. Nice pass and play against the full court press. They got this line. The Chal looking for a perimeter shot. A long three pointer. Arikan misses. Arikan started the game with two successful three pointers, but and he's missing after misses. Kolhoff. Kolhoff! Goal handing. So the basket is good. Odenburg has the four point lead. The child just showed the attention. And then Evin and Karen Erdam. Have a collision and and this is this is the foul by Erdam. Miran Evin was hard during this battle and could draw the foul. Galatasaray is in the bonus, so free throws are coming. It stays a personal foul against Kerem Erdam. And it means that Milan Evin is on the line for two free throws. First time falls for. Is Dimitrios Polychroniadis, Odenburg's head coach. Erdam looking for help. He needs some, yes. They could bring the ball here in time. They are looking, and they were looking. They were always looking for the better opportunity to shoot. And 24 seconds can tick down 
quicker than you would thought, you would think. Bad attempt on the other side. Ugur Luglu. With the ball. Now Kramerdam. Urchard with the offensive rebound. Almost made the three point play, but the shot misses, so he has to shoot two from the free throw line. Leander Zuma is the player who committed the foul. That's his first. The fourth team foul. And the child makes the second. Which means it's a five point game. Substitution. Um, just on the other. On the one side, Galatasaray made a change. Kolhoff. Kolhoff draws the foul. It's Erdem again. And this is not good for Galatasaray as Karim Erdem picks up his second foul. Yes, a little touch, but. Undoubtedly a touch. And Kohlhoff's hip. So Simon Kohlhoff is on the line. Extending his team's advantage. It's a six point game now. The second try from Koho is also good. Another turnover by Galatasaray. Erdem's pass was not enough accurate in the direction of Kotsaman. So Galatasaray is serious. Difficulties with scoring in the second quarter after finishing the first with 19 points. Now they are only at seven in the second quarter. Evan misses on the other side, but the Germans wanted the ball. Kolhoff. Kolhoff. Running jumper. Kuguluglu lost it. Kolhoff. And now Schroeder finishes. <laughs> nice finish by Schroeder. Makes a good job. Defensively and defensively as well. After Arikan's missed three pointer, it's Romer on the miss and Schroeder picked up the foul. It's a Galatasaray foul. It was Samriahi. Should have raised his hand. That's why I thought he committed something, but no. It was just a sign that he agrees with the ref. Should have isn't able to put the first in. Have a second chance here. 
to make it a 10 point game. And this time it's good, so 36 to 26. Odenburg leads by 10. The first time Odenburg has the double digits lead. Ugurluglu, no foul. Another pass, that's a foul. Basket doesn't count. Kochaman drew the contact and the foul. And Lazar Klaric has to walk off again. It's his third personal foul. And the first free throw is good. My coach, man. Second. Is not good, but he can make two more. As Leonard Rümer fouled him right after the second. Missed free throws, rebound. We have seen some bad free throwing today. It's earlier games. The second one is good by Gochaman. One minute left from the first half. Rumer under the basket. Oh, from inside. Leonard Rumer. Nice pick and roll play. Ugurluglu. Attacking the basket was Alperan Duruksu, but wasn't able to finish. On the other side, it's Miran Evin with the ball. Six seconds on the shot clock. Evin. Should have tries it. No whistle, so Galatasaray has two seconds to finish the half with a scoring possession, but they couldn't. So, after 20 minutes, Oldenburg has a 10-point lead. It's 38 to 28. Galatasaray players immediately left the court and They are leaving the dressing room to take a rest. Five for ten free throw shooting is very poor, as well as the 30 percent two-point field goal percentage. And even though they have three triples, it came on 11 tries, so it's also not a number to be proud of. On the other side, Miran Evin is the leader, not only as a scorer, but also as a playmaker. Kolhov has six, six rebounds, as well as Urluglu. And we can rewatch the Greatest moments of the first half. Enjoy it, and we are coming back in circa 13 minutes.
Goes five for ten. Also doesn't look real good. On the other side, fourteen for thirty-five from the field. So it's uh, exactly forty percent, which is quite okay. The free throws nine for eleven. Also acceptable. More rebounds for Odenberg. 26 against 20. Less turnovers. So it's all in all, Odenberg is better in every category a little bit. It's enough for a 10 point lead right now. Let's see what brings the second half for us. First, a big block by Schröder. He's hyped up as well as his teammates are. Not in my house, says Colin Schröder, center with number nine. Evin. Two seconds from the shot clock on the shot clock. Kolhoff's shot is short. Ugurluglu looking for a chal and a chal. The ball was stripped out of his hands, but still Galatasaray ball. Yes, it was Klaric. Touch the ball. Arikan from the corner. They don't touch the rim. Polhoff. Schroeder. Five seconds on the shot clock. Evin. Two shots. From the free throw line after the fall. It was Ugurluglu. So Alin on the line, shooting two. First one is good. And the second one as well. So Oldenburg moves first from the half-time score. Ugur Luglu. Just in time, crosses the line to avoid the eight second violation. Karamerdam. Erdem lost it. Laric, the steal, the pass. And the finish by Schroeder is not good. Nice defensive play by Tuna Ochal. And again, the fast break. In and the foul. A child doesn't understand as well as some Riyahi. Riyahi committed the foul. It's an A plus play by Johan Helvig. Beautifully done. But he misses the free throw, which is Evans' hands in. So Odenburg has another possession. Evin. Lazar Klaric. Klaric. 
Strong finish. Just as the buzzer sound. Bad pass. Klaric with the steal. Klaric with the no-look pass. Schroeder. Klaric helps Evin. But Evin doesn't ask for help. Just try to shoot the three. Uguruglu. Erdem. Uguruglu to Erdem again. A child. Bad shot, but a good pass. Alper and Duruks, too, is the scorer this time. His first points of the game. Helvig. Lazar Klaric demanded for the ball and gives the assist to Schroeder. Technical foul on Schroeder. No. It's Antuna Öcsal. To be honest, I did not see what happened around Tuna Öcsal. Maybe he said something to the referees. But the technical free throw was made. So... 17 point lead for Odenberg. Erdem. A child with the screen. Should I be the foul? It looked like a good pick and roll play. Turkish players had the mismatch, but Schroeder stopped. Kerem Erdem, a child. Desperate try. Kohlhoff. Very smart play by Kohlhoff. They don't have to hurry. Klaric. Zma, yes, it's in. Lazar Klaric with a great vision again. Another assist for him and Leander Zuma has four points. A good look, look. Back to Ochal. And Ochal is stopped through the foul. No one doubts it was a foul, clearly. It's a 19 point Odenberg, Odenberg lead. The child needs to score. First is good. The second free throw is also in for Tuna Chal. Kolhoff, Spray. Oh, the three pointer. Wide open. Spray just looked around. Saw nobody near him and dropped in the trifecta. Uguruglu is fouled. Evin committed. Is 
substitutions for both teams. Lazar Klaric, the unsung hero. He's only got five points, but great assists, strong presence inside. Meanwhile, Hugo Luglu misses a three-pointer, but the rebound is back to Galata. Another three-pointer try, and it's good. Batuan Lara. Kolhoff. Zuma. Evin. Kolhoff. Calls his teammate himself. And then Kolhoff alone in the traffic. Nice play. 19 is the difference again. But one large this time misses. I mean. Adam tried to steal the ball from Evin. And a layup. It's falling out. Adam. Good shot. Adam waits. A child for three. No good. And on the other side, a child makes the defensive effort and he gets the rebound. And then fouled by Nzuma. A child missed the three pointer, but then under his own basket. He's made enough to. Stop Odenburg from scoring, but only good defense. Odenburg absolutely controls the play and has nothing to fear of with concentrating through 40 minutes this game will be in the back for them a child to Erdem Karam Erdem with hands in his face nice play by Erdem now he has shown something why a lot of experts think he is one of the best in the business at this age. Kermerda converts on the free throw as well, so three point play. But Evin on the other side. Stopped Erdam. Duruksu. 
A child. A child is blocked. Three pointer from Guzelis, but it's off the rim and out. So. On the other side, Rimmer with the basket. All the momentum has gone away after Karen Erdams. Two plus one action. Ugurluglu almost lost it. Ugurluglu. Ugurluglu with a nice finish. Sixteen point game. Here's again Sar Ugurluglu. Step perfectly and finished. Smoothly. Ziuma catches the ball up after Evans. It's so easy pass. This pass was not handled correctly by Zuma. He had troubled. Troubles, uh, he had trouble with the first pass, came from Evin. And he had to handle, but for the next time, it was out of bounds. Touching his hand last time. Alp Yildirim is on the floor. He has the ball right now. Yildirim. Baseline J. Way too short. Zuma with the rebound. Rumer. Rumer. From outside, no good. And Samriahi fights for the ball and get the favorable bounce. It's Galatasaray's ball. Less than 40 seconds remaining from the third quarter. Oldenburg has the 16 point lead. Blue asks the ref why there was no whistle. Rumer was quite aggressive. The Blue Blue didn't get the foul. Kolhoff. Commits another foul, so two free throws are coming for Alper and Druksu. Hassan Arikan checks in instead of Samriahi. Alperandruksu's first free throw is after him. And it found the ring as well, but it was off Rumer's hands, so Galatasaray can keep the possession. They have 14 seconds to shoot, but they only have two seconds and the backcourt violation is called against Galatasaray
Cole Hoff will get the ball from the ref. And Odenburg can lead the last attack of the round. Nice space creation, a rebound, Odenburg. And this basket doesn't count. This is the original decision, but I won't be surprised if they would take a look at it through the replay system. If I would have to bat, I would take it was after the buzzer, so it shouldn't be counted, but let's see. Stumayer was a shooter, and that's the ball. Basketball for Oldenburg. And it looks like they can follow their own rhythm and keep the game in hand. Ten minutes before the end. So the last quarter starts right now. Georgia Klaric in the ball. Screen. Lazar Klaric picks up the position and Klaric stepped out of bounds. Galatasaray comes from the baseline. Karamerdam. Fouls in play, I think. Of course, the one is called. And it's Stilmeier, number 15, for his first personal foul. 
Falls for. Guru Guru. So Galatasaray is within 15. But the second one misses, so the difference stays 15. Romer hit the backboard, but Hazar Klaric was there to help him. With Georgia Klaric in his neck. Erdem looking for Ugurluglu. And another foul against number three. That's one, that's two, that's three. Everybody hit Sarku Gurluglu who saw him. Some conversation between all number of players. They don't need to worry about a Galatasaray comeback. That was another missed free throw and another one by Sarhuguluglu. Nothing falls for Galatasaray today. Lazar Klaric from outside. It's good. Three points for Lazar Klaric. He did everything. A little bit of everything. Scoring inside, outside, rebounding. Dishing out wonderful passes. And of course, his defensive presence. Great play. A quick answer. It's a three again. For Hassan Efe Arikan. He had two in the first quarter. And then Uguluglu after the steal and the finish. 15 point game and Dimitrios Polychroniadis calls his students to have some words. Can't be lazy, even with this huge advantage on the scoreboard. This was a bad play by Romer. These are the Galatasaray top, top scorers. See on the screen, but the most important thing is points, which is 61 for Oldenburg. Varic, Helvig, Schroeder, and Romer, Romer, all of them with three fouls. The game is on. And another steal by Ugurluglu. And a finish by a child. That was surely not something they were talking about at the Oldenburg bench through the timeout. Oh, 
Hazar Klaric with the ball. Backing towards the basket and drawing the foul. Good play and smart play by Klaric. Stop the clock. Get some rest. And answer with the three. Yes! Georgia Klaric. Sixteen again. Ugurluglu in and out. Unlucky bounce. Georgia Klaric. After Lazar gave a screen for him. Ugurluglu steals again. And the two on one on the other side. Kochai did not receive the pass by Kochaman. Kochaman did not see Kochai. I'm convinced. Three pointer of the mark. Arikan couldn't find the target. And the two on one, three on one. Transition three for Georgia Klaric. This time it brings out. Karam Erdan can run the rush. Can lead the rush and it's an assist for Erdem after Kochaman's basket. Less than six minutes from the game and 14 point differential. Evin, 4 3. Oh, the very bad shot, but the backboard almost helped him in. Held it in, sorry. Ugurluglu, Erdem. Ugurluglu. In front of Schroeder, over Schroeder. Ugurluglu is frustrated. Shouting. No defense from Galatasaray. And Georgia Klaric says thank you very much. That's not the fighting spirit. That's not the attitude you want to see on the court when you are a head coach and your team is behind 14. Nobody near Georgia Klaric, who punishes the defensive laps with the tray. So it's a wide margin again. You can rewatch his triples one from the right side, the other from the left side. Pitch perfect play. And scoring is sweeter. And you have the assist by your brother. Karamardam. Corner three is not shot. Erdam shoots and it falls in. Three pointer for Karamardam. Schroeder, nice to have to play. Schroeder is helped on by his teammate Johan Helwig. After the pick and roll, it was Schroeder against Kochaman. Number 
eight coming to the foul. Sure, that misses the first one. Shaking his head. But focusing well on the second one, so. Schroeder has 12 points in the game. Erdan with Ochal. Nicely stolen by Evin. He really knew what was coming and Perfectly stabbed into the pass lane. Uh, Evin now on offense. He's pushed hard. That's two more free throws for Miran Evin. This is Evin's court vision and quick hands. after the steal. He just draw another foul. And even though he misses the first one, it's still a good play. As the second falls for. Erdan. Oh, Erdan did not get the friendly, rebound, the friendly bounce again. It was a nice play by Karam Erdan, but couldn't finish. A couple of seconds later, to now Chavez fouled, so this possession can end with two points if a child score on the free throws. First is in. The second one isn't. And sure that the other side blocked by a child. Ugo Luglu stops and turns back. Erdam. Ugo Luglu corner three. Too, sh too, too strong. Kladic with the rebound. Evin doesn't shoot. Now the layup. Nice done. By Simon Kohlhoff. Has 12. A child is fouled. Of course, the basket doesn't count. The child will shoot two from the line. And two changes for Galatasaray for the last three minutes. Yildirim and some Riahi back on the court. Ochal, fade away at that time. Klaric. Klaric. Again. Bad shot. The shot clock is winding down. This was a hurried shot from behind the arc. Ugu Luglu is not happy about this fall.
Simon Kohlhoff was too aggressive. And that means Zuguluglu is on the line. He connects on that one. And the second one as well. 15 point game. Kolhoff tripped, but still gave an assist to Lazar Klaric. Uguluglu. Long shot. Galatasaray, Guluglu, now from close range, missed again, Lazar Klaric, Evin, Attacking the basket and Schroeder with the rebound and the putback. That's a 19 point game. Blocked. Ugurluglu was denied by Helvig and Schroeder with the finish again. Now the question is, will it be a 20 or more point game? Oh, it's off. Yildirim's foot. Disastrous finish for Galatasaray. They haven't had a chance in the fourth quarter. Aldenburg. Greatly had the advantage, controlled the game's tempo and even extending the difference. Someone has to shoot, six seconds. Georgia Klaric, one more pass, Römer. Shot clock violation. Nobody wanted to shoot until it got late. 21 points between the two, the, these two teams. And Odenburg bench players want to see some defense from the players on the floor. Georgia Klaric is not fouled. He lost the ball. Galatasaray will have one more chance. What's going on? Georgia Klaric is bleeding. So. He has to sit out for the rest of the game. It means 7.5 seconds. So Galatasaray dribbles it out. Officially, now it's over. Oldenburg wins 77 to 56. This game. Unlike Ludwigsburg in the previous game, the other German team, Oldenburg, played really well today and have a convincing win on the first game. So as I mentioned, 
Oldenburg will face against Hapa Jerusalem tomorrow at 4 p.m. And the day after tomorrow, on Thursday, Galatasaray will have the second chance to win a game in YBCL 2024 as they will play against Hapa Jerusalem. between every Oldenburg players. And now, here are some statistics at the end of the game. At the end of the game, Colin Schroeder became the best scorer, top scorer. He leads in every category. His team points, rebounds, and assists as well. So he and Lazar Klaric absolutely dominated the paint today. So I say goodbye to you with the final score for the last time. We are coming back for the next game at half past 6 p.m. But for now, thank you for your attention. The final score is Oldenburg Galatasaray 77 to 56.